What's up, dude? Before we begin this tutorial, let's all just take a quick moment of silence for all the overcooked chicken breasts right now. Poor little overcooked chickens. Because in this video, I'm going to show you three foolproof ways to have delicious, juicy, easy, tender chicken breasts every single time. And as always, there is no time to waste. Now let's go! The first of these foolproof methods is something I'm sure all of you have heard about and that's sous vide. Put some meat in a plastic bag and submerge it in some hot water until it's perfectly cooked. Basically, I will explain everything I know about sous vide as I go. I'll say this, in today's day and age, you can get a really good sous vide set up for pretty cheap. So why not give it a try? Starting here with two medium to large chicken breasts, starting with just a little bit of olive oil. Get that all over the chicken breasts on both sides. And you can definitely use whatever kind of seasoning you want here. I'm just using some Malden salt. And Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty, my little fuzzy friend. Well, his mustache is fuzzy, the rest is smooth. That's just fresh ground black pepper, really simple. This is gonna be delicious. Repeat that process on both sides. I'm using one of these bags because I have a new Vac Master Vac Pack machine over there, but you can absolutely just use a gallon Ziploc bag that also works. Just make sure you get as much air out of it as possible. But since I have this, I'm flipping out that edge, keep things clean, putting in the chicken, and I'll do the thick side here and thick side here just so they fit better. You can put other herbs in here, but I'm just doing a little sprig of rosemary and a couple little pieces of lemon. Really, really simple, but also really good. Since I have this machine, I'm just gonna throw in my chicken and it's gonna seal it up nicely for me with that amazing Darth Vader sound to finish. Now all you need is one of these immersion circulators that just keeps the water at a certain temperature. I'll put a link to this one down in the description, although you can find them much cheaper than this as well. And all I'm using is an eight quart container filled with hot water. If you don't have one of these, you can also just use a pot like this that will work just fine. All I need to do here is clip this on the edge like so, set the temperature to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll set the time for just one hour and then hit start. And once our water has come up to temperature, I will simply lower my chicken breasts in and let them cook. Because these chicken breasts are only cooking for one hour, I don't need to cover this vessel. If I were cooking short ribs, that might take two days. You wanna cover it up with plastic wrap to stop the water from evaporating so fast. And at this point, our chicken is definitely a little undercooked, which is what we want because we're gonna sear it off now for that extra, extra deep, rich flavor. It's amazing how you can smell the rosemary and lemon really perfumed everything. Seeing as how these are a little bit wet, we don't wanna get a terrible sear, so we're gonna dry them off first. And the seasoning should stick, so don't worry too much about that. You can always season it a little more after if you need to. To do this, just bring a pan up to medium high heat before adding a little bit of neutral cooking oil. This is just avocado oil. You could use another one if you wish. And here we go, we'll lay in our chicken. Just about 90 seconds, we're gonna give it a flip. Wow, and as you can see, we've got a beautiful sear going on. If you want at this point, you can lower the heat and baste it with a little bit of butter. Although it's not really necessary, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Another 90 seconds on the other side and it's ready to go. We're gonna start with tasting this sous vide chicken. Ooh, and I can feel as I cut into here, it just feels very tender. And as you can see, it is just absolutely glistening with juice. This could not be more perfectly cooked. Look at that. It really comes apart like crazy easy. Mm. The best part about this isn't just how juicy and tender and delicious it is. It's knowing that I can easily replicate this product at any time using the sous vide method. Now my editor and cameraman Marcus here has never tried sous vide chicken. Is that right, Marcus? No. He's gonna try it. Oh, you gotta go for the big end first, bro. I mean, you can. That's just perfect chicken. For the second method, I'm gonna use a technique where I drop chicken breast into hot chicken stock, which will actually give you a texture a little bit similar to sous vide without having to need all the equipment. This one's awesome, I use it all the time. Here's how you do it. Just bring some chicken stock to a boil and simply lower in a couple chicken breasts. You're gonna be amazed at how well this works. And all I'll do is let this simmer for three and a half, four minutes, and then turn the heat off completely. Heat is off, no heat. Lid. On. This always works better in a heavy pot as well. And with that heat off and lid on, we're gonna let this sit for one hour exactly. Just set a timer on your phone and I'll show you what this looks like when it comes out. It's just the most perfectly poached chicken. And now these breasts are totally done. Just get them out of the stock. Of course, you can use the stock for whatever you want. Although at this point, I do like to just bring this stock back to the boil just to be safe. I'm sure it's fine, but it doesn't hurt. And this is just such a great technique if you're doing anything kind of chicken salad related, whether that be a chicken salad from America or abroad. It just makes some really, really tender, like perfectly cooked chicken, as you can see here, just the way it flakes apart. I don't know what else to say, except that it's just really tender. If you wanted to sear it off at this point, you could also do that. But it's perfectly good to eat just like this. Mm. 
You know those condiments you buy that sit in your fridge for months at a time until you eventually throw them away? This is definitely not one of them. And so let me tell you about today's sponsor, which is Fly by Jing. There's a reason these sauces are selling out across America. And what I have here is the Good on Everything trio of sauces, which is also known as the Triple Threat. The first sauce is Szechuan Chili Crisp, which is just awesome. It's a spicy, crispy, numbing, and savory sauce that you can literally put on anything. I made a simple vegetable salad and topped it off with the chicken we poached earlier. And then I simply just doused it with some of that Szechuan chili crisp to take it to the next level. Their next sauce is called Zong sauce and it's honestly right up there with Szechuan chili crisp for me. It's got a sweet and savory thing going on that is absolutely delicious on food. And we'll actually be using it on our third and final chicken recipe along with the mala spice mix, which is one of the best spice mixes you could ever have just sitting around in your pantry. You can literally sprinkle it on any food, it's gonna be delicious. Fly by Jing is on a serious mission to bring authentic Chinese flavors to everybody's table. And their products are made from the highest quality ingredients. They're 100% vegan all natural and non-GMO. My friends, I honestly really love Fly by Jing products and I know you will too. You can go to flybyjing.com right now and use code DUDE15 to save 15% off your order. Now back to the video. The third and final method is definitely my favorite and it's the one I've used the most in my own life. And this all starts with getting the chicken the same thickness so it cooks evenly. Here's how you do it. Simply place your chicken breast into a gallon Ziploc bag, get out most of the air and close it up. And then taking a rolling pin or mallet, I'm just gonna start by focusing on that thick end of the breast. And we're gonna begin smashing it out for the very simple reason that when your chicken is the same thickness, it's gonna cook evenly so every single bite is tender. And for this method, we're gonna put the Fly By Jing Zong sauce to the test, which as you just heard from me is absolutely stunning, so I know this is gonna be good. I'm just gonna put a little down. I'm gonna rub that in. Ooh. And we're actually gonna use this in combo with the Mala Spice Mix to give it that extra little bit of seasoning. Wow, I can't wait to freaking try this. Ooh. So a nice little dusting of that, and I'll do the same thing on both sides. You could just use a pan, but I happen to love a grill pan for this method. Bring it up to medium high heat and make sure it's lightly oiled. Drop in your chicken breast and cook for 90 seconds before doing a quarter turn and then cooking for another 90 seconds for a total of three minutes on the first side. About 90 seconds, we're gonna give it a flip. Cook for another 90 seconds before doing a quarter turn and cooking for a final 90 seconds for three minutes total on the other side. So that's six minutes total. Take your chicken out and let it rest for at least three minutes and it's gonna be perfectly cooked. As you can see right here, this stuff is amazing. Time to taste this Fly By Jing hand fried chicken. Also feels very tender. Looking really Really good here, you can see the juice glistening off. This one is definitely gonna have a lot of flavor. You give your chicken the flop test like that, you know it's tender, right? If it just breaks under its own weight. Oh, whoa. Mmm, dude. Zong sauce plus mala spice makes for some phenomenal chicken. I said it already, but Fly By Jing just rocks. I'm also gonna try one more piece here with some of the Szechuan Chili Crisp. This one has all three Fly By Jing products. Mmm. That is a party in your mouth. Wow. Until next time, you know I love you. What am I?